Okay, next on the apps for optimization and performance that uh, I'm gonna be doing um, is Startup Manager. Startup Manager is a great program that lets you change any of the applications or programs that are set to run as soon as you turn your phone on, which will slow down your phone from starting up. It'll take it, you know, it'll take your phone longer to boot. Especially the more and more programs that you add to your phone, applications, whatnot, you don't know which one of these are setting itself and assigning itself to start when your phone starts. Um, there's a lot of things like Google Maps and Color Note and all this kind of stuff that I really don't care to have starting up. You know, when I want to run those programs and open them, I will do so. But they really don't need to be running in the background, taking up memory and all that kind of stuff constantly. So as you can see here. The only ones that I have running are the top three. I've actually taken off Google Maps, Swipe, Color Note, and the Advanced Task, Ma Task Manager. I do want the Startup Manager to be running, obviously, because I want that to uh, to manage what I'm starting up. The Auto Memory Manager and Set CPU. So that's what's nice about Startup Manager. Another one is the Advanced Task Manager. Before we get to that, we're going to go over to the Auto Memory Manager. The Auto Memory Manager is a free program that lets you adjust um, adjust how you manage your memory. And this program will manage all of your memory on its own, which is sweet. All you have to do is choose what you want. There's an aggressive, there's a mild, and then there's a default. Okay, and this is basically how it works. When when you start running low on memory and system resources this program will start killing and will start um, ending processes and applications that are being that are running that you really don't need like Google Maps um, this is also great because this helps the performance of your phone a lot for the fact that everything you open let's say you open messaging you open Google Maps you open the browser when you hit home to get out of these applications most of the time they stay running in the background and you don't know it and everything that constantly keeps running is taking up memory and we all know once your memory gets used up your phone starts to lag it starts to slow down and the whole per all the performance of your phone just goes to waste so basically what this does is it constantly kills processes of applications that aren't crucial um, processes that Android needs to run keeping the memory free on your phone at all times keeping keeping your phone um, optimized and performing at, at you know great rates and great speeds so the default as you can see is pretty low um, the content provider and empty application is down at 22 and 24 if you hit mild it gives it a little boost of 32 and 40 megabytes and aggressive jumps it all the way up especially with the hidden application 82 uh, 89 and 97 I run mine a little bit in between mild and um, an aggressive so we'll just kick it up let's see what's aggressive we'll kick that down we'll kick that down and kick that down now you know I've uh, everybody has different settings to run their auto memory manager a lot of people will run it on aggressive and say they they really don't see um, they don't see too big of a difference with it killing the wrong processes but um, if you have it on aggressive and you set the oh I hit the darn uh, I hit the av advertising the advertisement on the bottom there's a little advertisement down here um, if you hit aggressive basically what that does is it really kills a lot of things from running if you have an alarm clock set and you have this on aggressive chances are that it might end that process and you're not going to wake up for work so um, there is a whitelist that you can do right uh, let's see advanced no no it's not advanced um, preferences no is it in, oops dang it I hit home is it in running processes no where is the whitelist wait what version do I have 2.141 I guess they took out the whitelist I just updated 
um, uh, and I know th uh, the developer was having an issue with the whitelist and I don't see it on here anymore um, but great program oh, I was just in there let me see something else I just updated this today so I don't know what the difference is here in the advanced you can actually specifically go in there and change the megabytes per per um, field and you can also go to running processes you can hit list and just see everything that's running you can also see the OOM priority one being lowest negative 16 well I think one is the lowest I don't know too much about this program I haven't done a lot of research on it but what I have done is I've reached out to the SDX community and I've gotten um, opinions on this program and how it's been working for other people and everybody says it's a must-have um, and I've actually gotten some uh, ideas on good setups to set to set this up for and what I've heard is putting on aggressive and dropping each one of them down slightly and it runs pretty good without killing important processes uh, so we're going to go ahead and hit apply settings applied and that's it that's the awesome thing about uh, auto memory manager now what I was going to talk about is advanced, ma uh, advanced task manager right here okay advanced task manager shows you all of the applications and processes that are running click on the process tab these are all the processes it actually tells you if they're in the background idle you can see some of them are foreground okay but the whole reason why I like this a lot of people that have auto memory manager they don't even care to have an advanced task manager of any sort there's all sorts of task managers out there and I've and I've grown on advanced task manager to me honestly it's the best one and the most reliable basically the reason why I have it is for the fact that there are some programs that slip through the auto memory manager the auto memory manager does a very good job but for any application that does slip through and stay running I use this to get rid of them so like Google talk storage I'm gonna go ahead and end that task don't care for that to be on um, voicemail uh, it doesn't need to be running it's there if you want to go and listen to your voicemail you can just go ahead and open up voicemail and listen to it set CPU I need that running to keep my processor going good auto memory manager launcher pro all that kind of stuff uh, the quick search box don't need that gone swipe don't need that gone sync feeds don't need that right now I'll sync when I want oh it's still there it doesn't want to go well maybe maybe it needs to be running okay and then when I'm done I'm just gonna go ahead and end the advanced task manager now that's done so that is uh, for the most part that's good for all that um, Ooh, check this out I can also hook this up wireless tethering wireless tethering enables all I have to do is hit this button and I have it set up to where as soon as I hit that button that button creates and basically makes my cell phone a wireless access point meaning that I can go right on my laptop uh, and I have a wireless connection on my laptop I have a wireless router in my house I can go on my laptop search for wireless networks and one of uh, one of the choices on there is going to be my phone and I can actually connect to my phone from my laptop and go online f using Sprint's internet connection on my phone wirelessly no wires attached no nothing I just enable tethering on my phone go to my laptop and connect to it and I got internet and it's actually honestly very fast internet so I got internet wherever I go if I don't have connection I can just turn tethering on on my phone and go right online anywhere I want as long as I have a cell phone signal awesome